I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We're going to start as the dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles. Then we'll be non-dealer, we'll get 13 tiles, and then we'll be dealer again and get 14 tiles. We have a pair of flowers, east and west, pair of west, two, three, six, eight in bams, six, nine in cracks with a pair of sixes, four, eight in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? This is an interesting deal because we could play in several categories. We could play in wins, five tiles, maybe the fourth hand down, fifth hand down. We might even be able to play the fourth hand down if we could get a white dragon. So for that, there'd be seven tiles. We could also maybe play two, four, six, eight, mixed suits. The thing about two, four, six, eight for this year, we wouldn't be able to use the flowers, but we have seven tiles that are even. We also have three, six, nine. seven tiles. With 369 though, there's not a mixed suit with flowers. We need nine dot. We have a gap. I suppose we could maybe consider like numbers with sixes if 369 doesn't work. I think what I would do here is keep the year tiles and then three, six, nine or like numbers with sixes, maybe pass those three, focus on the year hand with east and west or play like numbers with sixes. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, right? Pull one in the comment section below and let me know what you would do. We have an east, a dragon, one seven in bams. One, two, four, seven, eight in dots, pair one, pair four, pair seven, and a three crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would probably consider a pair hand, one through seven. If that doesn't come in, maybe keep the three and play one, two, three, four of some kind. The challenge is our multiples are with the one and the four. But we do have tiles we can pass maybe those. 
I think I'd play the consecutive pair hand. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull two. We have a flower, south, pair of dragons, white dragons, five, nine in dots, three, four, five in cracks, pair four, five, and then a one, three, four in bands, singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? When I first saw these tiles, I thought four or five consecutive run of some kind. Then I thought, okay, let's keep the three. There's a hand there, three, four, five. We have two pair. This would be the fifth hand down in one suit. Then I spotted another hand. One, three, dragon, three, five. So I would focus on probably little odds. So I would keep the five dot and let those go. Focus on three, four, five with the flower or one, three, five with the dragon. Either way, one of these multiples will have to go away. And that happens sometimes. You want to just build around the most of your multiples and sometimes that will mean letting something go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, five, six. So probably the fours will go and we'll play little odds. At least there's a pair there. We need a pair here for the weaknesses and then we just need jokers for the three, the threes and the dragon. If the symbol tiles don't come in. So I think that's what I would do. If you would do something different, write pull three in the comment section below and what you would do with these tiles. There's no reason to be anxious about what to do with these random tiles that you're dealt. Put them in order. Jokers, flowers, winds, dragons, and then the suits in numerical order, and then target multiples. If you have a multiple, which is pair, pung, or con, start there and then keep tiles that can be used to support it and play a category that will use most of your tiles. If you don't have multiples, build around the predominant pattern. Maybe you have mostly evens or mostly odds. Between those two methods, you'll be able to have a starting point for the next part of the game, which is the Charleston. Look for videos titled Charleston Modeling for exercises on how you can strengthen your decision making during that part of the game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.